Like space, scientists are interested in exploring the depths of the ocean since much of it remains unknown to us. But contrary to popular belief, the abyss doesn't welcome you at the bottom. There are dangerous sea creatures lurking in the dark that'll be more than happy to have a change of dinner. In today's video, we'll be talking about 10 terrible deep sea creatures you've never met before. If you wanted to go diving before, you definitely won't after watching this video. Number 10. Asian Sheephead Ras not only does the Asian sheephead wrasse have a mouthful of a name, but it's also undoubtedly the ugliest fish you've ever seen. Known as the Kabodai, the fish lives in some of the deepest waters on the planet. Still, some fishermen manage to catch these fish purely by accident. As misleading as the fish's looks are, humans don't make a part of their diet. In fact, it feeds entirely on mollusks and crustaceans. They're the largest wrasses on the planet. The greatest weight recorded for the species is 14.7 kilograms. To make things even weirder, the species is a hermaphrodite, meaning that they have both female and male genitalial parts. Number 9. Sarcastic Fringehead The sarcastic fringehead fish is a tough saltwater fish that definitely belongs in the bizarre category and not because of its name. They have got an incredibly large mouth for a fish. What's more, they aren't the most friendly of fishes in the sea. When a fish makes the mistake of crossing into the sarcastic fringehead's territory, it puts its very big mouth to use the only way one can kissing your enemy to death. In fact, when two of these fringe heads get into a fight, you'll find them in an aggressive makeout. You can find them in the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of North America. Just make sure you bring your diving gear with you because this fish lives 220 feet below the surface. Number 8. Giant Isopod You'd think nature would leave bugs on land, but nope. The giant isopod is a combination of a bug and a fish. They have striking similarities to woodlouse, which isn't surprising because those two are related. Not that it helps, but there are 20 species of the giant isopods. They aren't friendly bugs, sadly, since they're infamous for attacking fishes caught in trawls. They can measure anywhere from 17 centimeters to 50 centimeters. They have an exoskeleton protecting them from predators in the sea. Like a woodlouse, they can also curl into a ball. Thankfully, these bugs are limited to the cold water of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They live in the gloomy sublarital zone of the depth of around 170 meters as well as in the pitch darkness of the Baff Hill Zone at 2,140 meters. Number 7. Taunius Borealis the Talionus Borealis is the prettier version of the scary squid that sci-fi movies mostly represent. It's got an unusual body which, believe it or not, plays to its advantage. When you're dead deep into the ocean, the slightest light and shadow can land you in a life-threatening situation. But the Talionus Borealis doesn't have to worry about such things as it can easily blend with the water. In fact, some smaller fishes consider the squid a stone and swim toward them unknowingly. The squid can stay motionless for long periods of time, and when an innocent prey swims by, it uses its tentacles to grab dinner. The Tynus borealis spends the early parts of its life in the upper shallower layers and moves to the deeper layers later. Number 6. Japanese Spider Crab there are normal crabs, and then there's the Japanese spider crab. It's the largest legged arthropod found in the water around Japan. Part of why the crab appears so scary is its leg span. It has the largest of any arthropod, measuring up to 3.7 meters in length from claw to claw. These crabs also display a unique molting behavior where the crab loses its motility and starts molting its carapace rear only to end with molting its walking legs. The entire thing lasts for 100 minutes or so at a time. They've got an exoskeleton to protect themselves from predators, not to mention they can camouflage pretty well on the ocean floor. Even though no one in their right mind would dare approach the crab, Japanese folks proved to be truly brave ones as they consume it as a delicacy. In fact, the Japanese spider crab is the most sought-after crab in the country. Number 5. Atola Jellyfish Deep inside the depths of the ocean, you can find the Atola jellyfish shining like the sun. Still, the jellyfish has never seen the light of day. What's really cool about them is they can emit flashes of light, which, as you guessed, is done to ward off predators. Doing so attracts the predator's predator to the battlefield, allowing the jellyfish to quietly swim away while the chaos ensues all around. It also has a long tentacle, which is more or less used like a fishing rod. 
You can find the Atolla jellyfish in the so-called Betho zone, which is 1,040 meters under the water. Pressures at this depth are unimaginably high, while temperatures are incredibly low. Number 4. Fangtooth The fangtooth is one of the fish that the sci-fi movies didn't lie about. It looks like something straight out of a horror movie. It's a skilled predator, one that wreaks havoc on the rest of the sea creatures inhabiting the deep waters. They swallow squids and shrimp without even taking the time to chew. They live at a depth of 5,000 meters, so they've got tough skin. Surprisingly, the fangtooth isn't much when it comes to size. One species measures 16 centimeters in length, while another is only half of that. Still, with their incredibly razor-sharp teeth, they can take on the fishes much bigger than them. In fact, these fishes have the largest teeth proportional to their body size in the ocean. Their teeth are so big that they can't even close their mouths. Number 3. The Blobfish Speaking of weird fishes, the blobfish deserves a mention. Although it has a cute name, it doesn't have the looks to go with it. In fact, it's one of the ugliest fishes on the planet. This is a deep water fish, one that you can find off the coast of Australia. They may look terrifying, but with sizes up to 12 inches, they don't pose much of a threat. In fact, they are more of a gelatinous mass than they are of a ferocious hunter. The small and light body means the blobfish can swim through water without wasting much of its energy, not to mention that its squishy body helps it withstand the dangerously high pressure one might find at 1200 meters. As for their diet, they're happy eating any crustaceans that happen to float in front of them. Number 2. Sea Spider once again, we thought nature would leave this one on land as well. But unfortunately, sea spiders are very much a thing. It almost sounds unbelievable since spiders don't like water. Surprisingly, these sea spiders are a bigger threat compared to their land counterparts. They've got legs that span 50 centimeters. Interestingly, they breathe through the very same legs. And as time passes, the holes grow large enough to be compared to ones found in Swiss cheese. They live in shallow waters as well as at the depths of 7,000 meters. They are carnivore predators that feed on sponges and other mollusks. They are also parasitic on sea anemones. Number 1. Rhizophysit siphonophore The Rhizophysit siphonophores is too mouthful of a name. It's also known as the Flying Spaghetti Monster, which seems to be an accurate nickname. The spaghetti-like deep-sea creature has around 170 species. Interestingly, the monster emits light to attract prey. Most of them produce blue and green light, but a few have been recorded producing red light. They are predatory carnivores and feed on a bunch of fish and crustaceans. They move their tentacles in a way to mimic the movement of these crustaceans in an attempt to attract them over. Alright, which one of these animals' violent side scared you the most? Do you still plan to go with your diving plans? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TrendJoint, and we'll see you in the next one!